Hi, welcome to the Magnum Steno Club. This is an instructional video called Legos. The purpose of which is to illustrate to you the futility of trying to write everything out. I'm going to use uh, certain Legos to show how people that write everything out make their job so much heavier. We're going to look at this testimony here that begins with, and likewise, all of us over here are. Okay, let's just start with that. The person who strokes everything out is going to do one stroke for and, like, wise, all, of, us, over, here, are. Okay, you can see that there are nine Legos there. Nine Legos, meaning they have to do nine strokes to cover that. All right? Now, let's see how I would write it. One stroke for and, one stroke for likewise, and then I have a brief that covers three words for all of us. I have a brief, and that's A-U-F-S, and I have a brief that covers the two words over here, that's, that's over plus H, over here, R. So, where they took nine, I took five. Okay? Now, if you want to figure out how much speed is gained by writing shorter five versus nine, what you do is you do nine divided by five. You take the bigger divided by the smaller. Watch, 9 divided by 5 equals, and we get 1.8, okay? Now, basically what that means is every time the stroke intensive guy does 100 words, I do 180 words. Every time he does 200 words, I do 360 words. That's if we're doing the same finger speed. Because look, the, the stroke intensive person has to put together nine strokes in the same period of time that I'm doing five strokes. How would you have to la like to lay out all these Legos really quickly and all I gotta do is lay out these five? So much easier. All right, now we're going to the next sentence. We'll scoot these out of the way. Now the next sentence starts with going to have to hear what you have to say. Can you see that? It's right in the middle there. Going to have to hear what you have to say. So, look what the stroke intensive theory people are going to do. Some of them are even going to write two strokes for going. I'm serious. But I'm going to give them one just to be f nice. Going to have to hear what you have to say. I put all black ones there. I should put yellows in the middle so you can so we can see and count a little better. Now, how many strokes they took is pretty bad. They took 10 strokes. Look at that. 10 strokes to write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 words. We're just going through say 10 strokes, 10 words. Now that sounds good, but it's not because these are small words, and small words have lots of small word phrases. And listen to how fast I can say this 10 words. Going to have to hear what you have to say. Going to have to hear what you have to say. That's less than one second. And they cannot write 10 strokes in one second. Going to have to hear what you have to say. Less than a second. There's no way you can write those 10 strokes. But now let's look how you write it if you're me and you've shortened your writing or many of you have shortened your writing. I have a brief for going to have, you know, uh, and, and, and if they say gonna have, I have another brief for gonna have, even though I transcribe them the same. And actually I have one for going to have too. So I'm going to put a four length video, uh, Lego there because I, I do going to have to in one stroke. Here, what you have to say. Okay, they took 10 strokes and I've got four. Because I've got going to have to, here, what you have to, what you have to say. What you have, of course, is W-H-A-U-V, to say, T-O-S. 
and going to have to uh, G final G plus the V plus the O going to have to and, it, and if they say gonna have then I can write G-O-E-N-V that's gonna have and I don't know if I have a gonna have to anyway just killed it here 10 to 4 I mean 10 divided by 4 is 2 and a half which means I'll be writing what 2 250 when they are writing 100 if the, our finger speed is the same if we're writing our fingers at the same speed if they're writing 100 I'm writing 250 and if they're writing 200 I'm writing 500 they won't be able to write 200 writing this all this out all right let's move on now to some difficult literary from a biology book now we're gonna just start right here at that first line when it comes to appraising human now let me show you what one of those stroke intensive theories are out there and you know what they are they're the two most common theories taught in the schools today and they are teaching everybody to just stroke everything out watch this when it comes look how long it takes me to even put these down two now watch this a uh, praise ing and I know a bunch of them write Hugh men in two strokes Hugh men there you go we now have nine strokes there I squeezed in nine strokes for when it comes to appraising for these stroke intensive people so let's move this back and remember that they did nine now I have a brief for when it comes to okay when it comes to I even have a, a stroke for when it comes to the okay when it comes to and then appraising one stroke P R A I F G appraising human Hume okay I have three and they have nine basically I'm gonna be writing three times as fast as they are if this continues in the literary format I'll be able to write three times as fast now it's not going to continue I'm not going to get a whole bunch of four forward phrases but nonetheless I've got a great start that I'm ahead of them already now let's go to the next line all right behavior we have at the outset to recognize all right let's just keep our eyes on that we have at the outset to recognize now we've got behavior probably is what the writer outers do and then we have at the out set to and to write recognize I'm sure many of them do it in at least two strokes all right the Legos even went off the screen so I'm gonna to have to put some of them up here but what you can see is that we've got 11 we have 11 strokes see 11 for behavior we have at the outset to recognize so remember 11 and let's see how Mark would write it behavior is one and then we have catches two strokes with one Lego at the it catches two words with one stroke at the catches two words with one stroke outset have a brief for that to recognize so where they had 11 I have six you see six Legos they have 11 so the few fewer strokes you do it's much easier to set those Legos up it's much easier to make a smaller amount of strokes look how fast they say behavior we have at the outset to recognize that was only a little over a second and they have to do 11 strokes 11 strokes let me read that again behavior we have at the outset to recognize folks that's almost one second or a little over a second and they've got they can't write 11 strokes in one second 
they're going to have to take more than two seconds, so they're getting behind, way behind. But me, I can get close to writing six strokes in a second. I'll be a little bit behind there if they say it fast. Behavior, we have at the outset to recognize. I, I can get easily four, sometimes five, and six strokes in a second. All right? So this means shorten your writing, folks. It pays off in huge dividends. I hope you liked this video. And um, I guess that's all I'm going to show you at this point. Uh, write me an email. Tell me if you have any questions or if you like this video, if it made a difference to you. Here, have a great day. Bye-bye.